in a live look at Lambert Airport this evening, and there is some bad news for more than 1,000 employees of American Airlines here in St. Louis. Furloughs are expected. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live with why some so many employees could be affected here. Jeff. Yeah, John, according to American Airlines, the furloughs are expected to be temporary. They sent a letter to employees citing a lack of air travel. And take a look out here tonight at the airport. This is how it's looked uh, most of the night. It has been pretty much empty. The airline also sending a letter to the St. Louis mayor, the county executive, and the state indicating that as many as approximately 1,200 American Airlines employees here in St. Louis could be furloughed. American Airlines reports a 45% decrease in air travel for the start of the year compared to the same time period in 2019. Airline executives point to COVID concerns and a slower than expected vaccination rollout for leaving some travelers unsure about traveling. I, I can see why people would be, yeah. Uh... Frequent air travelers say St. Louis Lambert International is definitely less crowded than the airport was before COVID. It's sad to see it like this. It's very little travel. So it's a lot less crowded in some airports. Uh, I'm based in Houston and there are American Airlines reports a 42 percent decrease in um, air travel for the past. start of this year but this compared to the same quieter. time period in 2019. In City, Airline executives dead. point to COVID some concerns say certain and a slower than expected full, vaccination rollout have reduced the number of unsure because about of demand. traveling. I mean, just look around this airport. It's, it's kind of, you know, we just came from Dallas airport and this look around is totally different. I mean, I know it's a bigger airport, but now, the furloughs are expected to begin in early April. There are three job positions that will be eliminated. Those positions will also be eliminated in April. Reporting live from Lambert, Jeff Berthal, Fox 2 News. Thanks, Jeff.